maza geze mu butaka bwumye iyo imvuri guye burongera bukabaho buka mezi imyaka imyaka ikamera abantu bakarya bagashinzara ni nyota izina rya uri habwe icyubahiro urakoze mana nzima uyu ni wa mwanya mwiza umwanya udasanzwe benshi babuze umwanya satani yari ganje benshi benshi bari mu birukanka muri yisi babuze umwanya wo kuza kwisoka aho turonkira ubuzima n'imbaraga ariko twe mwami wagiriye ubuntu turagushimiza izina rya uri habwe icyubahiro tugeze mu mwanya mwiza mwami wo gukumva ongera wivuge muri isaha ya saa sita isi yose guteza amatwi isi yose kumve yongera ibeshweho ni jambo rya urakoze mwami kubwe intumwa yawe mwizi na rya Yesu Kristo umukoresha iby'ubutwari kugira ngo ijambo ryawe rigere kuri benshi unyoteshe benshi kwahagizwa no kumva ijambo rya benshi bahindukize mwami bakangure ubagarure kumva ijambo ryawe kuko uryo herejeje gutanga ubuzima uryo herejeje ngo rikize indwara uryo herejeje ngo zitanga imirimo uryo herejeje ngo ritanga abana kubata bafite uryo herejeje ngo ryongere risubize mu ibyiringiro ryongere ritanga mahoro kubahagaritsa imitima ryongere ribesheho uryo herejeje ngo ryubaka ingozi mu zisenyuka uryo herejeje ngo ryongere rigarura abapapa mungo satani yayobeje abamama bagaruke mu ngi mitima nibitekerezo zo inshingano responsabilité zongere zishirwa mu bikorwa nabashakanye ijambo ryawe mwami rikora mu buryo bwose reka rimanukirisi reka riheshe ubutaka buzima reka riheshe amazi ubuzima reka riheshe ibihu buzima reka riheshe abantu buzima reka biribeshe ibiti mwizi na ryisimbuto zezwe ni jambo ryawe buri kimwe cyose imico ize buri kimwe cyose mwami kibeshwaho ni jambo rya ibikururuka biri mu mazi ibigenda hejuru ibiguruka hejuru abantu nibintu ijambo ryawe niryo ribibeshije umwa urakoze papa mwiza tugeze mu mwanya wo gukwakira ngaho fasha ubwoko bwawe imbaraga zawe zimanuke ubuntu bwawe buganze kwera no gukiranuka kwa kubane natwe urakoze papa mwiza ngaho koresha umugaragu wawe ndetse nubasha kushyira mu rundi rurimi bakoresha iby'ubutwari uherekereshe ijambo rya wimenyetso nibitangaza umwuka wawe wera riherekeze kuko niwe mufasha twasigiwe byakozwe n'intumwa icyo cyambere mu rongo wa 8 naraba ngo muzaba bagabo umwuka wera nabamanukira nibwo muzaba bagabo kumpamya iyudaya isamaria kugera kumera yisi reka mwuka wera wasigiwe itorero rya Kristo kwisi mu bantu mubera bawe reka uherekeze ijambo ryawe uri yobo rigeze mu nguni za buri kiremwa uri geze mu nguni zisi yose uri geze aho rikenewe papa isi yose irarikeneye ryoherezanya umwete numurava gusohoresha imbaraga za papa kubuzima bwacu mwa dutegereje kubaho tugirira imwe n'imbabazi kugira ngo ijambo ryawe ryongere riduhuze n'umugambi wawe ijambo ryawe riduhuze n'umugambi wawe shimwe n'icyubero n'ibyawe twakira umukozi wa kubwa Yesu umucunguzi mwiza amen kari mu mona poso amen arakoze mushumba sebastien Thank you, Pastor Seba. We thank you all that are following us today. May the blessing of God reach you all. Praise to be to the Lord who brings us wonderful moments here at the altar. Thanks to the Lord who has given us this place, the altar. So that the saints can come together and then pray to their Lord. Jesus said that all of you who are thirsty and heavy burdened Come to me and I will give you rest. Where he said is here at the altar. In his kingdom and his dwelling place. We are happy for those that are here and those that are following us. And we are happy welcome. You can also invite your neighbor to come and share this food this day. 
Mm -hmm. We should not eat this meal alone. Let us share with all the saints. Okay. Father, we thank you. Thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Last night and today my head is full of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. Come and let's talk really. Yeah, Moses to Gandhi Rego Sehanyuma. Come, let's share this word, and if you have a, a, a prayer request, then come and we pray together. Christ as he was yesterday. He used to heal, he used to deliver, and he still does the same today. Come, he's here to hear you. Come, bring your, your, your requests. Many people have been delivered from this place and this program. People have given their lives to Christ. You can also be among those in the name of Jesus. Uh, Ephesians chapter 2. I, I take it as a chapter of a flashback that shows you how you were in the past. This is how it says, and you were dead. Dead in your trespasses and sins. In which you previously lived according to the ways of this world. According to the ruler of the power of the air and the spirit now working Those in Those that are disobedient to God. Are those ones that follow the rule of the air. The king of this world, the one who serves the, the heavens of heavens are seated with the king of kings, the right hand there is Christ. But the all of the atmosphere and the air is the king of this world. That is where this ruler is. Those who are disobedient those are the ones who work under the power of this ruler. He is the one who prohibits them not to be in touch with God. He is the one who stops them from following their creator. You should not accept that in the name of Jesus. We have to have our faith in Christ Jesus Christ. Who the one who resurrected us. He resurrected me. He resurrected me too. If you can see me today, it's because I'm a resurrected one. I want to bring a note to this. Can you see that in the Bible it says that those who Every time I read a scripture, sometimes I read a word and I know that only a few have a revelation on this. Because this time that happened many years ago, I used to read the Bible. But every time you get a revelation on this word, that is the starting of your life, the new life. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. That even as we were dead and we were resurrected. <laughs> Christ took hold of us. And then he took us to Gorgon. Because that place had to be crucified as sin. And then when there was no sin with Christ Jesus, he got all our trespasses. He put that on himself. So that he can have sin that will permit him to go to Gorgon. It is not his sin that made 
made him to be crucified it is my Christ sin. I see Christ has been crucified. Ah, I see killing this sin in Christ Jesus. Because it is sin that was killed and it was us who were killed in Christ. Let me say this again. For Christ to be killed and then buried. He got his life. And then he got his glory. The good one. The good one was connected to the bad. He got the bad of the bad people. And then that bad was put in the good ones. The bad ones stayed living. And the good one is the one who died with the sins of the bad. Now what, 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 does, what does the philosophy of the spirit say? The spirit spiritual philosophy here says that it is us who died in him, it is our sins that were killed in him. The bad one died in Christ Jesus and the good ones continued to live with Christ Jesus. Let you take this and take hold of it Aha. in the name of Jesus. Ah, okay. I, or, uh, there is a story about the twins. One twin was righteous. And another one was a, was a full pagan doing drugs and all that. Akora makosa yichumunu Vargwa anye gusara mngisha Hanyuma Kuriya mkubisi chuma Marasa ya undara simba Muzura kuishatie Hindu kamarasa na wamarasa mugwaho Awa onye Awa ando wafugishinduru Ariru kaha so this pagan one killed a person And then all the blood was smashed on his face And when people saw that Then he ran away Aha so people followed him, chasing him. They were like, take, capture him. Capture this train, capture him. They were like, take, capture him. They were like, take, capture him. They were like, take, So as they were running after him, chasing him, he ran and then went to a town. When he entered this city, he went to the house. When he was there, uh, he was the house. He shouted and said, Bear with us. We have power issues. Sorry about that. Let's continue again. You're welcome. And we thank the saints that love being in the presence of God. And we thank the saints that love being in the presence of God. Invite still your neighbor to come and be with us, share this word. And those that are giving in your prayer requests, please keep on. We'll pray for that. Okay. We were talking about the twins. And I want us to take to understand Christ more and more. I was illustrating this story so that we listen to what Christ did. So that one of the twins killed the son, they chased him. It was full of blood on his body. And he was like, he was the same as the brother of the sister. They were very much identical. It was to, it, it couldn't be possible to differentiate them. 
Mana yanji goskoba ye kuyisha. Oh, when this one who killed realized that he was surrounded already, he ran quickly to go and say bye bye to the other train. Yeah, so when he yeah, arrived, yeah, 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 so. yeah the one realized that this one was okay. full of blood. And he said, what happened to you? And he said, my brother, wama, my brother, I'm saying bye to you. I'm going to die and I've killed a person. Look at how blood is my shoulder. And they are running after me to kill me. Please tell my parents, tell our parents that I'm going to die, but I'm dying because I killed someone. <laughs> Ah, so this righteous twin says he told the brother that is how it has happened to you in one minute said, get that shirt that is full of blood Get it off and give it to me. He said, for you, you're tired. You have been following you, so give it to me and I ran away. And then this brother said, the other one took off the shirt and this one put it on. So this one put it on. Put on another beautiful one. They were identical and he put on a better cloth which was clean. And then this other twin he said, your mighty twin, I am the old one and you, I'm the older one and you're the younger one. I'm going to die in your place. I ask you for one thing. Accept and tell me that today from today please start living a lifestyle of my lifestyle. Instead of you dying as a pagan let me run away because at least for me I have salvation in me even if it means dying I know my journey where my journey ends but from today you should always say that I died you should never say that you still exist you should always say that the young brother died. Leave us the older one. Because you killed someone and you were killed. So today you're going to live like me. Because I'm dying just like you were the one to die. And then he ran away. So they ran after him and then they captured him. Before they even reached to him, they, they pierced him with swords and he died. So from that day, the younger brother, the one who lives, he started praying all the hours that the, the elder one used to, to pray. The days of this one who died, the days he was fasting, this one who lived and started He started going to church and fellowshipping just as the brother who died did. And whoever called him that young brother, he would tell him that that one died a long time. It is the elder one who is dead. Ah, say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. All you the young brothers, you died long time ago. The Bible says that it is him who has changed to be the first one in the universe. For him becoming the first one. He decided to put on our cloth of sin. And then he went into death that was going to take us. 
the day and the death of our dying he decided to take that on himself. And then Christ said I leave you my cloth of righteousness. I give you this glory. I give you life and living. For me let me take the bad and the bad and I'm taking the death on me. You exist like you're not existing. Let me dwell in you and be there ah, as you are existing. That is why Paul got a revelation. Paul said that I know that it is Christ living in me it is not me living anymore in, for you to understand this until you understand this philosophy you will be beaten and you will be put down with everything that comes okay. your way the ones of us who have been buried in Christ Jesus after three days Christ resurrected with them. He made that resurrection. And then he took back his life. And then he filled us life of eternity in us. From that day, we started existing as people who were resurrected, not people who died. There are things you should not take in every curses because the curses were buried when you did. Today it is you who is existing. It is me living, it is you living who was resurrected. The one who resurrected. There is no place for any curse ah, in their life. Ah, 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 there is no place of, 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 for death because this death was taken ah, on their ah, lives. There is no warfare, there is no battles, there is no anything that attacks in life because all those curses were following the other person who was uh, every time you find out that there are things that are following your life you should tell the things that you are in a wrong direction me who is living today it is the resurrected one it is not the one who was born. The one who was born was killed in battle. The one who is living today is the one who resurrected. Do you know that some things that we think about every time you have a battle or you're going through a warfare in the spirit when you start lamenting and having worries in your life in, your mind, in spirit it means that you went to the graveyard and then you took out the thinking of the one who was buried and now you start thinking ah. like this person who was buried long time ago ah. the you who was buried if you want to reject every poverty, every sickness, every curses, those ones come from this person who was buried. So the one who resurrected, the you who resurrected must reject all that. Let me give you a testimony. Yesterday in my office I received I this mother. I helped go through a journey of deliverance so she was still So we had never met since the Ejo time of the So yesterday even she came to my office. She had spiritual battles and wars of evil spirits in her life. So yesterday she came with her child. And she also wanted to let me know how they are doing in this 
Zijia attack vigimeze mite. So I ask her, how about the attacks that you used to have? Kuko ichogene ise na mubatiza. That time I also, I even decided to baptize her. Mm-hmm. Hanyuma, titukonge. Kuono na yara shatukwe, yara kashakwa muwa divantiste. Kandi hatari hafi, ndiva suwe kumge meri lako. She got married to an Adventist person and then it was hard for her to come in fellowship with her myself. So this is what made me happy in her just She said, it was tough for me to get married to this. That my family did not want me to get married to this man until they told me that we have to take you to a doctor and I rejected but that doctor they were telling me was a witch doctor. So the, so the time they wanted to take me there I had this attack which was very terrible and I felt like even I was going to die then I had a voice that says where you're going is not a right place to go. So the family rejected her and they tried to send evil spirits to her life. Attacks were in form of rain. She could be in her house and feel this heavy rain falling that she couldn't even listen to anything sounding outside. She would have this much fear that comes in her life. And every time she could remember the word that I told her. So when I was going to baptize, I told her that today we are burying the one who was born. We are burying every nature, every flesh. The one who is going to exist is the one who is going to be resurrected with Jesus Christ. That one does not belong to your family. There is no evil powers and evil spirits that can monitor her life to know where she is. Aha, icho arachi. So she, she captured that and believed in that. She believed in that. Every time there was rain and thunder, she could feel that even the house is shaking. And there would be a voice in her that says it is written. Then she would tell this things that <gasps> the one you're looking for was dead, was buried long time ago. <laughs> the one you're looking for died long time and she was buried. <laughs> Today the one who is existing <laughs> is the one with a promise that is connected to the blood of Jesus. Every time she mentions <laughs> that, <laughs> The rain and the thunder would cease. They would cease immediately. Even, even though she was in sleep. And there came an attack. She would tell them that you lied yourself. They used to come before she was even baptized. And after baptism, we told her that the one who has been existing is dead and buried, and now the one who is living is a living person. <laughs> So after baptism, every time the attacks came, she would tell them that, who are you looking for? You're looking for the one who died long time because for me, I'm a resurrected one and you have no power over my life. Let me give you this news, my friend. <laughs> it is not you who is living, it is Christ who is living you. For you, you died in Christ Jesus. And then the Christ who came from heaven now exists in your life. 
twe hariho Kristo muri twe Ibidukurikira ni bifitanye inkomoko ni juru The ones that follow us the ones that want to take our lives are the ones that come from heaven Ibindi byose byubibwira ko byayobye Tell them that the other attacks and every evil are in no wrong direction Sema hallelujah Say hallelujah <laughs> Nicyo gituma navuze ngo namwe yarabazuye That is why I say that you have been resurrected Muri muri murabazutse You are people who have been resurrected Adukuye mu rupfu rukomeye He took us out of death Obo turi bazima byiteka And today we have eternal life in our lives Kubwa Yesu Kristo wabikoze Because of Christ Jesus who did it Kane aravuga ngo Four verse four says. But God who is rich in mercy. Because of his great love that he had for us made us alive with Christ. That because God but God who is rich in mercy. Okay. Yesterday I talked about something that amazes me. In all creation. Imana niyo yonyine gusigira ututundu tubiri. It is only God who has these futures in. Niyo. Only him. Igiri mbabazi zuzuye. He is the one with the fullness of mercy. Ninayo. He is the only one. Igiri mbaraga zuzuye. With power in its fullness. Ta wundi mundu nta kindi kiremwa kigira ibi bintu byombi nta kibaho. There is there is no creation there is no human that has this ah, Ibindi biremwa. The other creatures Uzarebe mu miryango yanyu cyangwa urebe mu gihugu cyanyu. Look at your families and look at your nation. Uzasanga abanyembaraga biwanyu. You realize that the ones that have power in your family. Uzasanga nta mbabazi bagira. You will realize that they have no mercy in them. <laughs> Aha nabanyembabazi biwanyu And the ones that have mercy in your family Uzasanga ntambaraga bagira zo kugira ico bakumarira You realize that they have no power to do anything oh, for you in life Oh banyo gosenge ba ufite imbabazi bagize gutariko batagira imbaraga Your aunties your uncles who have this mercy but there is no power in them Baso wanyu bagukunze bagufite igishika n'igikariko ntambaraga bafite Your uncles who love you they don't have this power they have mercy for you but they don't have power Abafite imbaraga na And those that have power in this world they have zero mercy in their lives Harabagabo bavuga kwisi batunze nimbari batatu ba mbere mwisi They are men who are rich the first three men like the Tiri ones that are very rich. It is not important for me to mention their names. Batunze batatu mwisi ba mbere. They are said about being very rich in this earth. Ufashe ubutunzi bafite bivuga ngo ubwo butunzi zo ni imbaraga If you see what they have in riches that is power Iyo baje kugira imbabazi If they were merciful enough <laughs> Bari gufata ubutunzi bwabo ko ari batatu They would get all their riches as they Bakabugabanya abakene bose bari bari muri Afrika And then share to the poor that are living in Africa Bose bakagira ubuzima bwuzuye bwo kubaho nta mukenuri And because the riches is too much with them then this poor will become rich too Ariko kubera ku izari imbaraga ziri ku bantu badafite imbabazi But because this is the power in riches that that are on people with no mercy Babo sazanye bonyine niba nafa bugendu ko isi 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 yoro migume muri ako kaga They are getting old almost dying with their riches and the world will remain as it is Umuntu wenyine uri difera yabandi bose The only person who is different Ni Kristo wenyine gusa Is Christ Jesus Umugabo wuzu yimbaraga This is the man of power Agasubira kuzuri imbabazi And this is a man rich in imbaraga masu. zimutera kuturokora The power makes him save us Imbabazi zimutera kutubabarira And the mercy makes him forgive us Oyagiri imbabazi The one is has Arana murokora When he has mercy upon this person then they serve him too Oya shatse gutabara The one he wants to help Akoresha imbaraga ze akamurengera He uses his power and then serve them too Nico gituma ari wowe nyine wo kwizerwa That is why it is only him to be trusted Bibiliya bango nubwo tutizera The Bible says that even if we don't have faith Bariko we ahora ari wo kwizerwa But for him he's a faithful God No matter how much we are unfaithful. He is always our God is always faithful. What he has done in your life. 
Loving me with no not that not because I called him. Kunzura ndavifite muruhare. Resurrecting me without me asking him to do that. Na demand ya kozwe na bene wacu ngo babimusabe. There is no request that you write to him. Hanu wabisengeye mu gisekuruza cyacu. Even in our people nobody prayed for us to be saved. Ya kozwe nurukundo nimbabasize gusa. You are just by the love of Christ. Biba ngombwa ko bidukoraho nta wabimusabye. That is how he does it. Saves us even without us asking. This is the word that always comes in my mind. I always tell myself that the one who forgives me, the one who requests, the one who resurrects me, the one who requests me. The one who got me out of death, even nobody requested him to do that. How, how will he leave me even this time when I'm praying to him? How can he not give me the others? How can he not save me when he did it even before me loving him? Knowing him? He has Done mighty things in your life before you even pray for him. How come he will not manage your life and do it in your life when you don't exist? Hallelujah. It is impossible for him to leave you die. That is how people stand and say, you did this before I even prayed for him. How come the simple ones cannot come to pass yet and put them away? You resurrected me and poured in me the spirit Spirit of God in my life. <laughs> How can you not give me that that comes from soil and yet now I know how to pray? These things need you to be. You have to have faith and know and understand and acknowledge what the Lord has done in your life. So that heaven can do what it has not yet done in your life. Life, but that will come from you recognizing what heaven has done already. Number five. Is because of his love that he has loved us, he made us alive with Christ. Even though we were dead in trespasses, you saved us by grace. It was not by power. It was not by any right. It was not by any works that we did. It was by grace of God. The one thing that I've done in life. What makes us different from any other people out here. We are different from other people by this. This on verse nine. For you are saved by grace through faith. That one. Through the grace is upon every everyone. But the salvation it is for those that have faith. You are listening. The grace is upon all creation. But the salvation being saved has comes upon those who have faith. This is the only password that the Lord wants us to know. This is, this is what the Lord wants to see in our lives. Faith. What does that mean? He sent his only son to come Christ on this world. Christ came like rain that was falling down. Down. And then heaven says, the, as you go out, the one who gets out and goes to this race, the one who comes out of their country, the one who listens to this race, the one who sings this race, the the and then you go outside for you to capture this race, then the gift of salvation will come in your life. But the one who listens to this rain and they don't go out, the rain will go and fall in another place and you remain with no salvation. That is what faith means. It is for you to listen to the music that you go to 
And then what Na comes kiguzu tans, what, kusa kwa achira. And then what comes with the rain or the news you got to, to receive it and take Na it. Kiguzu kirimo. There is no other bribing in this. The offerings that we gave. Yose no kuririmba, no diakoni, no mandi. The works that we do of evangelism, the works in singing, in church, and, ev- and everything that we do. We are not doing it to bribe God at all. But we are doing it and thanking God of what he has done in our lives. Verse 13. Number two, there are just signs of thanking God for what he has done so that he is happy and then do the other things again. That it, it is, salvation is not by works so that nobody, there is no work that you can do that Murongo, is Christ. The last one. That's number 10. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Which God prepared ahead of time for us to do. We, we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for We have been created in Christ Jesus for good works. It's like I've created you so that you go and do good works. Works that will be sweet in my eyes, works that will be nice to me, works that will be good in my sight. That is it. Let us turn in doing good works that Christ created us to do. I always tell Christ that the, the works that you left undone, I'm here to do that. I tell Christ that whatever you wanted to do on Thursday, I'm here to do that. I tell him what you wanted to do on Friday, I'm here to do that. I tell him that what you wanted to do on Saturday, I'm here to do it. That is what the Lord wants us to do in Christ Jesus. My friends, let me tell you this. Never accept anything that is that comes your way, that comes in your life, that is connected to the, the you who has we should accept and take in only things that are connected to the you who is resurrected. Before Christ being buried, Every time they had closed the door, he could not come in. He but the resurrected Jesus Christ. Every time he wanted to enter somewhere, he passed wherever, even in the walls and everywhere. He was not this Christ with uh-huh. the body that could not pass through anything. Nothing would make him not pass where he wanted to pass. And reach he wanted to reach. That is how he resurrected with us and made us, made us resurrect, and that's how we are. We have faith and this faith can take you and make you pass wherever you want to pass. I speak that from today in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Let you start entering where people people are. Let you reach wherever you want to reach with no limitations. 
The Christ before burying him every he before Christ resurrecting, people had to open Aha. doors for him to pass and come in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the Christ who resurrected with us. He never needed to ask for any help for him to reach the He just needed to pass wherever he wanted to pass through. Then get where he wanted. That is how it is in the no, no, name of Jesus. And now the Bible says that he was buried and buried with us. And then the Bible says that he resurrected and resurrected Aha, with us. When he resurrected us with, with Christ Jesus, we passed wherever we wanted to pass. One of our teachers in theology <laughs> says something. something. Matayo na Marco na rukani bia kuzgoni na 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 Johanna. One time he said, every time you read the Bible, and you, read Mark, you read Mark, oh, Luke, so Matthew. Ageri Bethania. You say he raised in Bethany. Azurunga Azura Lazaro. And then he resurrected Lazarus. Ujia musomango tugera i Bethania. You should be reading that us and Jesus we were there. Wehita tuzura Lazaro. And then we resurrected Lazarus. Kuko tuwe setwari du teke yemuriwe. Because all of us were in Christ Jesus. Tuzura na Lazaro turi kumwe na we. Together with Christ we resurrected Lazarus. Ah, no maru somengo tugera kwa ya iro. And then you read and say we went to Jairo. And then we resurrected the daughter of Jairo. Hey, we went on water. We walked on water. Oh, to jenda hejuru ya mazi vide mera. That we walked on water with Jesus. Viri abjose. All those things. Kwari muriwe. We were in Christ Jesus. Avi ko. He did that with us in him. The power that power and that divinity that is what exists in us. In the one who did that he did that while we were in him. And now he wants to do wonders while it is him in us. Hallelujah. That is how it is. That is is. You should not have thoughts of the dead one, the you who, are, who is Ariko dead. The Bible says, the Bible says that it is possible for all those who have faith who believe. Oh, yeah. And the ones who believe. Those that, yeah, but, the ones that think in impossibilities are those ones who died. But the ones who resurrected, everything is possible with them. As a wind up, it is your choice for you to choose to leave us the one who died or you leave us the you who resurrected. What are the things that show us who, was, who died? Number one, the dead one was full of sin. Number two was full of flesh. Number three, the, the one who died is full of curses. Number four, this one is weak in everything. But the one who resurrected. All these four that we've said don't touch him. They don't exist in his <laughs> life. So there is no need of <laughs> we, we take in the ones that of the person who resurrected the not the one who died. The reason he buried this is that we, we don't <laughs> exist in that form anymore so that we can exist in the power of the one who resurrected. He resurrected you too. The ones who died in the endless Now we have life. 
We are going to pray and resurrect even the part that has been resurrected. If your thoughts have gone back to be connected to the ones that died, then that has to be resurrected. Let us be together as we pray. Don't the things that you don't accept, the ones that you don't want, then connect them to the one who died. Let them go and and let us claim the good and the ones that you want so that they resurrect, the they resurrect in the one who resurrected let them resurrect that is how it is Father in the name of Jesus you resurrected and you resurrected I know that I'm among those that have resurrected. I know that I'm among those that have resurrected. I know that I'm among those that have and the ones that resurrected don't resurrect with any curse and any evil. The ones that resurrected are free from every sickness and every curses. The ones that resurrected, resurrected from the evil death and to death the The ones that resurrected. They came from every curses, generation curses, family curses, and they came from every Every evil. In the name of Jesus Christ. We bring down everything that makes God not known in our lives. In our tribes, Father, we are healed. In your tribes, Christ, we are healed. Give us life and let us live in the name of Jesus. In your tribes, Father, we are healed, Christ Jesus. We speak to your sickness that you live in the name of Jesus. Let it be dead and let it be buried in that tomb in the name of Jesus. Let the life of the resurrection be in the lives of these people. I said that those that resurrected, resurrected with all the blessings. They resurrected with all power. They resurrected with all victory. If there is anyone who has been defeated in this before that I That is a lie in their thoughts. The thoughts of the one who died. We proclaim victory in their lives in the name of Jesus. We say that the children of the Lord take back victory in the name of Jesus. I command every oh. blessing to the If there is anything that has not been resurrected, let the blessing of God be resurrected. Let the peace of the Lord be resurrected. Let victory start coming in their lives. Let every opportunity we resurrected with every opportunities. We were resurrected with every goodness and beauty in our lives. We put down every power of sickness. We rebuke every power of poverty. I pray for the people that are praying for their relatives. Let them receive the salvation. This year, let them meet the Christ who resurrected. This year, let them meet and take in Christ who resurrected. Those that have been devoured from their blessings and their opportunities, we pray that they take in their blessings. Again. Those that have been parted from the blessings of their blessings, their opportunity. let these opportunities look for these people in the name of Jesus. Those that are sick and are ill in their bodies, I pour the anointing of the Holy Spirit in Christ their lives and and let them be Christ resurrected with a health body and those who have resurrected in him have that. So let these people 
people also receive it and take it in the name of Jesus. New life, let the new life come in their lives. I speak victory in everyone who is following me. I speak peace which is in abundance to everyone who is listening. I announce that today they will enter wherever they want to enter because after the resurrection of Jesus, he entered wherever he wanted. I pray for everyone who resurrected with Christ Jesus. Let them start in authority, enter wherever they want to enter. In the name of Jesus. Let them start in authority, enter wherever they want to enter. In the name of Jesus. Let them walk in the authority of the kingdom. Let them walk in the authority of the kingdom. Let them walk in the authority of the kingdom. Let them walk in the authority of the kingdom. Let them walk in the authority of the kingdom. Let them walk in the authority of the kingdom. Let them walk in the authority of the kingdom. Data turabigaruje. Father, we take back whatever belongs to us. Ni byacu twarabihawe mu izina rya Yesu. All these belong to us you've given them to us. Dasenye kinyoma cyose kitubesha ko hari ibyo tudafite tudashoboye. I every lies that come to us saying that the things that we can't do. kuri byose mu izina rya Yesu. We have authority over everything in the name of Jesus. Ngaho ubuntu bwa Kristo bwuzure muri aba bantu. Let the peace of the Lord be full in this. Wadukoze ibikomeye tutarakumenya. You have done wonders and miracles you did them even before we you took us from death and gave us life before we even knew how to pray. How come that we can't get today whatever we need yet we know how to pray? I rebuke every sickness. I break and rebuke every other death. We take it out and we rebuke it, send it wherever it's coming from. We pray and we say that there should be long life in their lives in the Bible. And let there be long life in their lives. Before eight years of age, I speak to everyone who is following us. Whoever who is listening to this, they have a guarantee of living and existing just as the Bible says. I thank you, Father, that you have listened to us. Let your peace and mercy be upon you. You have resurrected us and resurrected us. Whatever has not yet resurrected, I pray that it is resurrected today. Whatever has not yet resurrected in their bodies, let it be resurrected. Even economically, let it be resurrected. In the children, let it be resurrected. In the families, let the good be resurrected. In the nation, let the good be resurrected. In churches, the good, let it be resurrected. In our families and homes, let there be resurrection of the Lord. Father, thank you that you've heard our prayers. We bless you with the mighty hand of your kingdom. Thank you for your resurrection of our lives. There is no power that can come against our lives. We have been lived out and take it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You can give your gift or offering on that number that is on your screen. Yes. This altar is a parent of all churches. This is where all everyone. This is in the kingdom. This is in the kingdom. It is not in any religion. All there are a lot of works that are being done here. The people, the people who are in the church are not able to do it. They 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 are not able to do it. Supporting this altar is is you taking life. You taking it. You help us. You are helping us to manage all the events that happen here, even the servants of God and all the staff that are working here. Listen, listen to this. 
Listen to this. Even the time we were having issues with the power, it is not that the power had gone. It is a stabilizer that was not that is not working. That is not working today. So, the, so buying something like that is something easy. That is a good work that you would do. You can put fifty or ten dollars in your pocket. Since I yoke a into value, you can put fifty. You can put eighty, even more than that, and then we buy something like that. You're serving the kingdom. You're serving in the kingdom mightily when you, wherever you give and support this. Aba kori bionda vuzengo umugisha inyatsinti kongere tizongera mabo tonsi bage. Those who do that we pray. You, you will be blessed those that support this altar be blessed and always be blessed the kingdom will make you survive because you're giving in the kingdom of God may, may the Lord bless you so much thank you Amen.